Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to lesson 8.2, Problem Solving, Use Multiplication. Our essential question is, how can the strategy, draw a diagram, help you solve fraction division problems by writing a multiplication sentence? Let's get started on lesson 8.2. Now I have question number one down for you so you can walk through it with me to see what we're doing. Number one says, Sebastian bakes four pies and cuts each pie into six. How many one-six pie slices does he have? So what we did was we took the four pies, the information we knew, and drew four pies. And then we need to cut each pie into six. So you're just going to make a vertical line and two horizontal lines on each one till you have six for each one. And now the question is asking, how many 1 6 pie slices does he have? Well, now all you have to do is count up all the 1 6 pieces. We have 6, 12, 18, 24. So there are 24 1 6 pie slices. A whole number divided by a fraction will equal a whole number because you're asking how many of the 1 6 pieces. Let's go on to number 2. Now since our essential question talks about drawing a diagram, I really would like for you to find some space on this portion and draw what I draw, okay? Number two says, Allie has two vegetable pizzas that she cuts into eighths. So go ahead and draw two circles for number two, and we're gonna cut them into eighths. Now the easiest way for me to cut circles into eighths is I like to make a vertical line. Let's do that for both of them. A horizontal line and then two crisscross diagonal lines. One, two, one, two. And now you can see we have eighths. Now, the question says, how many one-eighth size pieces does she have? So go ahead and count up your one-eighth pieces and see how many you have. All right, you should have said 16 because there's eight in each one. So therefore, two times eight is 16. So our question is 2 divided by 1 eighth equals 16 of the eighths. Now our multiplication sentence that I used to solve this was 2 times 8 equals 16. Let's take a look at number 3 now. It says a baker has 6 loaves of bread. Do me a favor, pause the video and draw 6 loaves. Okay, you should have drawn six loaves. Now, it says each loaf weighs one pound. He cuts each loaf into thirds. So what are we gonna divide each of our loaves into? We're gonna cut them into thirds. So the easiest way for you to do that is just to make two vertical lines down the center. Go ahead and do that for each one with me. All right. Now let's see what our question's asking. How many one-third pound loaves of bread does the chef now have? Now, you're going to be using a multiplication question to solve this, okay? When it says how many one-third pound loaves of bread does the chef now have, think about how many loaves you have. There's six, and each one's cut into thirds. So what is your multiplication sentence you're going to use to figure it out? You should be thinking six times three equals 18. That's a multiplication sentence that we used to find 6 divided by 1 third to equal 18. Remember, a whole number divided by a fraction will give you a whole number because you're trying to find how many pieces that you would have that are. So you'll end up with 18 1 third pieces. All right, let's take a look at number four. It says, suppose the baker has four loaves of bread and cuts the loaves into halves. How many half pound loaves of bread would the baker have? Go ahead and pause the video, and I want you to try this one by yourself. Don't forget, draw the model, and then I want you to write your division problem, as well as your related multiplication sentence to figure it out. Go ahead and press pause now. All right, boys and girls, for this one you should have cut each one into half, and then you count up all your half pieces, and you can see that you have eight half-pound loaves. Your division sentence was 4 divided by 1 half will equal 8, and our related multiplication sentence is 4 times 2 would equal 8 pieces. Alright boys and girls, let's look at number 5. 
I want you to do the same thing you did for the last question by pausing the video, draw your model, and then write your division sentence as well as your related multiplication sentence. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, boys and girls, you should have said that you should have cut each of your watermelons into halves, and then you're going to do three times two to give you six half size pieces. But the division question is three divided into half, so you're cutting each one into half, because cut can mean divide, will give you six half size pieces. All right, now let's take a look at number six. It says, a landscaper has five tons of rock to build decorative walls. He uses one fourth ton of rock for each wall. How many decorative walls did he build? Now remember, he's gonna use one fourth ton of rock for each wall. So how many walls can he build? Go ahead, draw your model, write your division sentence as well as your related multiplication sentence to see how many different rock walls can he build. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, step one, you should have cut each one of your walls into fourths because it says that he uses one fourth ton for each wall. So we're cutting each one into fourths. Now we want to know how many walls can he build. All you have to do now is just count them up. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Our division sentence is five walls, dividing each one into fours will give me 20 one fourth tons of rock for each wall. So we'd have 20 one fourth tons. Now our related multiplication sentence you probably did automatically in your head because you're so good with your facts. You should have said five times four equals 20 because you have five groups and each one's cut into fourths. So you have 20 of those one fourth pieces. Okay, everybody, here are your two homework questions that are related to our lesson. Go ahead and do questions one and two. Go ahead and draw your models to figure out your answers A, B, C, or D. Then go ahead and do questions three through six for review. Please, at the top of this page, don't forget to assess yourself. Write level one if you feel like you're still a novice, you don't understand this. Two, apprentice, three, practitioner, or you know if you're four, the expert. And we'll be having lots of fun tomorrow practicing more example questions to do with our class. Have a great night. Bye-bye.